Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Cordy Sullivan, how you doing? What's your first name? Cordy. 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 My name's Jack Thomas. I'm president of the Santa Rosa Firefighters, and uh, I've been a firefighter for uh, 26 years. Tonight we're uh, having a, uh, a barbecue event, very casual event. And we have President Shapeberger, uh, 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 CPF uh, President uh, Lou Paulson coming um, to kind of rally the troops uh, on Prop 32. So we got 16 days left, right? 16 days till election day. Um, at this point, I'd like to give a huge thank to everybody that's already stood up and phone bank with us and done precinct walking, but we've got to keep it up. We got to keep going. We got to fight all the way to the end. Proposition 32 basically silences our voice, just like they tried to do with 226 and 75 in the past. <laughs> If Prop 32 were to pass, we'll, we'll see a, a very rapid erosion of all of the benefits that our members have grown to enjoy. For firefighters, I think our health and safety, our retirement, and basically the way that we've been able to support the citizens that we protect, all of those things are at risk if Prop 32 passes. Can I have all the children up here? All, the, all, all of you children, please, come up here on stage. Come up here. Left and right, you're gonna be, you're part of the show. This is not just about the future of our jobs and our profession. This is really about the future of our wonderful children. I think California right now is a battleground. Having the general president come out from Washington to be able to come to California to talk to us just shows the importance of Proposition 32. General President visiting here and touring all over California to bring the troops out is really a sign that this is not only a priority for locals or for CPF, but for all of all of the IFF and for firefighters across the country. We're doing tons of phone banking, we're doing precinct walking, um, and we're just getting out there in our community to make sure that people are aware of what 32 could do to the average working person. People look up to you and who you are. So take some time and talk to them about how bad this is. It's bad enough for the fire service. It's bad enough for public employees. But it's far worse for the people of California. I think it's critically important to vote no on 32 because it's not what it seems. But this isn't about public employees. This isn't about firefighters. This isn't about unions. This is about the fall of all working people in California.